Game resumed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last game in this round of 16 in the bottom right corner playing on Cherry Castle in the purple ghastly colors. It is Ajwuja. On the top right side on Cherry Castle, we have our yellow Protoss player who is just a beast, a monster, demolishing one player after another in this tournament. It is Arthur. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to be on Cherry Castle, which is an interesting map. Just go on, again, use the power for the wall. I think there's like four and a half pylons there, <coughs> four, so I think he has to. Um, yeah, drink. I will continue your sentence. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Kalev is louder than me? I can fix that easily. Really? I'll just do this. I should be. Look. I, don't, 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 don't turn your microphone. I, I'll fix this. I got this. I got this. Usually you don't got this. When I watch the stream, your co-cast is always either too loud or too quiet. Well, I, I got a new microphone now. I can turn up the volume on this like crazy compared to the old one I had. So it's okay. Um, it's quite okay. pleasant too. Uh, this map is made by Kintuva, or Untivak, Un who's, um, who's made a lot of StarCraft 2 maps. He actually has made maps that's been in the, in the map pool and whatnot. It's so, Uvantak. Hmm? Uvantak. Uvantak, thank you. So uh, he made this as a little uh, delayed Christmas present for the Starbucks community. Uh, he's actually, I talked to him, he's, he's going to modify it. He's working on modifying it a little bit because the third base just seems a little bit off. But oh, hold that thought. Arthur's going to deny the base from Buja with the pylon. That's very annoying for him. He's going to have to start his spawning pool when he really didn't want to. And uh, yeah. Yeah, already throwing off uh, Ishvuda from his game plan when it's really the other way around because Ishvuda, like being the underdog in this series, he wants to throw off Arthur, not, not the opposite, he doesn't want to get throw off. He has a yeah. game plan, he has a game plan on how he wants to beat the superior player. Um, and now he has to, now he has already to improvise 3 minutes into the game. <laughs> there is pink snow on this map, which is probably supposed to be cherry blossoms blowing all over, and it looks gorgeous. Um, Another thing to note, this third base that we have on this map has one ramp here, but it has two ramps over here, so it can be a little bit difficult to defend. Uh, one thing I think that uh, Untipak, what was his name again? What did you call him? Unt, uh, Kantuva U on Team Liquid. Uvantak. Uvantak. Um, one thing he was planning to do perhaps was to make these, these two ramps into just one bigger ramp with a rock on half of it. So it, you can... You get like basically the fighting spirit setup, but it can be widened out by the opponent later on. So I think that's kind of Rops. a neat. I think that's kind of a neat way to do it. And meanwhile, though, Wuja is going to um, expand over here. Uh, Arthur's going to find it. He might want to throw it on a pylon and a cannon because the the site of a of a spawning uh, hatchery is very small. But no, it's not happen. If that did catch it, he pays very a lot of attention to the minimap because the overload actually had vision on the. Probe. Point. So I did see the probe entering, and I think that might also have been the reason why Alpha decided to not, I uh, uh, to not do it. Mm -hmm. He might have considered it, though. That is a good point indeed. Now Arthur is going to uh, just head on with this uh, probe. He's going to make a, a zealot, but he got a really fast cybernetic score. He's not going to go for any heavy zealot pressure early on. He's just going to make one for defensive purposes. It seems. Keep trickling them in. Oh, he's actually going to move it out, but he doesn't expect much more from the Zealot than just to uh, force out some Zerglings from his opponent, I suppose. I think we will see a Hydrolisk bus from uh, Ishvuda. We have you know one what? hatch, one gas. Oh, okay, no, he's taking the second gas. Okay, never mind. Uh, it still might be fairly close to Hydro bus. This is this is definitely what I would do versus Arthur. This is like I would. This would not be would not be beneath me. And he's gonna see the first Hydrolisk moving out right now. And Hydrolisk at the six minute marks, especially when they trickle out two at a time. And he's actually gonna lose some drones here, which I feel is unnecessary. Yeah, it throws down uh, a cannon. Yeah. Uh, uh, two extra cannons. <clears throat> and if I would be Ishvuda, uh, knowing that it has been scouted. I would just cancel Hydro's production and immediately switch back into drone production for a very short amount of time. Because um, to out Mita also. <laughs> you know, I think that's a I think that's an excellent idea. And also throw down a layer so you can go for some, some lurkers because one part of 
over defending versus this is starting to make a lot of speed lots. And when you have a lot of speed lots and suddenly the attack isn't coming, you're gonna counter attack and then you need to be ready with lurkers to deal with it. Or also, also we see uh, Alpha. No, uh, no, wood, what are you doing? Throwing down so many freaking cannons. And I think from this point, I mean, since you already have Hydras and the range upgrade, you can pick off the buildings. Um, don't lose Hydras like you should have. No, um, this is very important. But if you have, if you have like six or four or five Hydras, you can pick off uh, slowly away at the wall. Yeah. Um, and I think even though he's oh no 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 he's he's just just he doing whole position. Damn it! There's no Zola, There's no interaction at all. He just has to put his Hydras there and press H. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy to micro versus potent cans. You go out of range. Dude, did you hear me? Okay, out of range. There we go. Okay, that was a little bit unnecessary, but I still think um, it was worth it. Uh, just by the fact that Alpha did throw down four more potent cannons. Um, and he lost his forge, he lost his gateway for the exchange of a couple of fighters. Um, ah, no, oh. get the gateway! No! Stop it! Get that, no, get that. <laughs> This <laughs> almost lose to Hydras. Um, now the reason, let's just talk about that for a second, because it looked like both those Hydras were going to die, but the reason the other Hydra didn't die is because it just started moving away as the Scarab exploded. And it is a short delay bef between when the Scarab is is removed and the damage from the explosion happens. So that's how that Hydra got away, because it got into a, a part of the splash damage that doesn't deal 100% damage anymore. That's gonna be interesting. I still, I, I think we're gonna see um, uh, Perhaps a uh, Zealot Reaver attack, but there are no Zealots. So. <laughs> We're gonna see the, the Zealot Reaver attack just, without Zealots. Just, I'm just so confused because I saw the charge up, uh, the speed upgrade for the Zealots, but then I saw no Zealots. <laughs> and I already the Prism. And I was like, maybe he goes for many Zealots in the Prism attack, but he just uh, does a very risky drop uh, with, with only Speed Prism. Well, and on the other hand, he knows there's no scourges in the US to snipe this because there's been so many hydras coming, so it's not super risky as long as he's careful not getting. Oh, get the prism! Get the prism! You should have proof! Go for Oh, can, can I get No! Get stuck! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't get it, and oh, the reavers do all the things. Actually, your, your microphone. Uh does uh, break up a little bit when you get excited, but that's actually kind of cool because it just adds the effect, so it's okay. So yeah, this is unfortunate. We just uh, we're just gonna lose a lot to these reavers right here. lost this entire army to two reaver shots. <laughs> oh, that's so sad to watch, but so awesome at the same time. <laughs> you know what? That's the common of the day. And oh wow, GG. He just leaves, which is understandable at this point. Oh, oh. wow. All right. So that was uh, that was round.